Bitcoin might be getting ready here for a massive, massive move to the upside over the next coming days. But there are still some warning signs in the chart that we first go a bit lower. But if you want to know where we potentially going here in the imminent short term for Bitcoin and over the next couple of weeks and days, then definitely stick around here. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video and also activate the bell. And now let's directly get into today's content. I want to start off with the three day chart today because today is the day where we going to close the next three day candle in the next nine hours. And for now, I will be cautious here for now, it looks like it that we just slightly gonna close the three day candle above the EMA ribbon, which would be really, really bullish on the three day chart, especially with an upwards trending stochastic RSI and potentially a crossing RSI above the 51%, which would give us a spike over the next three days. And that spike would for sure bring us outside the falling wedge that we are seeing here on the three day chart. The other scenario is that we are not closing above the EMA ribbon and over the next three days, we see the price coming back into the middle of the ribbon and then three days later, so in six days, then we're gonna see that breakout. That's why I'm saying we have to be cautious here and I'm gonna show you in a second some other warning signs that are concerning me when it comes to Bitcoin going higher. Here on the 30 minutes chart, there we can observe that we finally have left this small consolidation phase that we were in. We have broken this to the upside yesterday and went as high as $27,167. There is right now not any clear pattern visible. So it um, doesn't make sense to draw here something like this. So yeah, there, here is this potentially really, really ugly small channel. Don't really like it because it only touches on the wicks, more or less. But yeah, there's a, this downwards trending channel for now. Uh, I think the Fibonacci retracement tool, we can remove that for the time being. Here, there is maybe another 20 minutes downwards momentum in Bitcoin right now, based on stochastic RSI, but the normal RSI shows that it wants to potentially go here back into higher levels and that will also push the price higher. When we're looking then here on the four hourly chart and here comes the biggest warning sign for me, actually two that I spot here. The first one is remember that I told you guys yesterday, if we are breaking out of that symmetrical triangle to the upside, I would like to see it to break kind of here and it broke too early in my opinion. Now what happens when a symmetrical triangle or in general any triangle breaks out too early, it normally goes halfway to the target or really close to the target like here, but then rolls over, comes back into the triangle and starts breaking down. Another indication for that, that this might be happening here is that the stochastic RSI gave us a sell signal five, uh, sorry, seven hours, uh, yeah, seven hours ago. And now it's trending to the, to the downside, which is also shifting the momentum to the downside. And now I just wanna check the EMA ribbon, how that is looking. Okay, so it could be that we come back into the EMA ribbon and go 400, $300 lower, which would be not that dramatic. Come like here and then up and then potentially go up like this but it's really really risky to try to trade this when this breaks out too early because it has always the tendency to roll over and go against the pattern non nonetheless if i put it to the breakout target then you see we got pretty close to it but we did not reach it so if you would have traded it, I hope that you had your stop loss trailed to the upside and that you basically got stopped out in profit. Otherwise, if you entered like kind of here, 26,676, I would might get out of it 
because this this looks like it's go it will go a little bit lower before it goes higher again so you, you will potentially get a better entry yeah when it comes to trades there um, right now i don't see anything here right now at least on the four hourly chart i don't see anything on the 30 minute chart potentially let's say the price comes back to the top of this downward sloping channel i would scalp this channel then to the downside with a short and when i'm back down here with a long back to the top but i would only do this two times so um, basically would short from here to there long from there and from here i would be short again so and if you want to do this guys don't forget that we always trade on Bybit because Bybit is one of the best exchanges out there. There's also an exclusive campaign coming only for you guys. So definitely check out um, here this link and sign up only on this link. And also on Ascendix, if you sign up there, you still get $2,000 in bonus and you earn your fees back in Bitcoin if you trade on Ascendix, which is really, really amazing. I did not see any other exchange doing that, but also you will only be able to do this with my specific link here. Now, let me show you what else I have seen here today in the chart, which could lead to a massive rally in Bitcoin. You see, I have here the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average here on the chart. And these indicators at some point they're crossing each other once we are getting this cross we are talking about a golden cross and a golden cross is always leading to a massive increase in price and here on the daily chart a golden cross is quite reliable if we get it one sign that makes me bullish for the golden cross is the angle in which we are going up here with the 50 moving average to the upside. So the 50 is in red. So this angle is really aggressive. And when we are getting such an aggressive angle, we normally get a really, really nice golden cross like down here, oh, sorry, down here. See, same aggressiveness. And then we got a really nice rally to the upside from 22 to 31K. Also, when I go a little bit further back, where we get a clearer, crossover also here there you also see we're getting over it and getting a nice move to the upside so that was from here to let's say to the top here there was almost a 50 percent move to the upside last time when that happened and then of course also this move here from here to there that it was 40 percent now if we measure the last one and we say okay golden cross might be coming here and then we go for so we just go 35 percent 35 percent would bring us to 36k and then we're gonna check the time span that it took to get there last time a month and the time before that forty two days that gives us a time win of roughly thirty six days from the moment that it's happening. Of course, it's, uh, it has first to be happening, but let's say we middle this 36, so in August. In August, we could see potentially 36K if we get the Golden Cross here on the daily chart. And we're gonna know by end of this week or early next week. Guys, let me know if you believe that we will get this Golden Cross and Bitcoin will turn tremendously bullish once we are getting it i would like to know what you think and this is already the end of the episode guys and please make sure that you smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you then again tomorrow